Good afternoon, my world of rogues. It's your girl, Erin Rogoff, ready to talk about books. Because what else is there to talk about? A whole lot like summer vacation, school, job, all that sort of stuff. But right now, I want to talk about books because that's when I feel the least socially awkward since I am very book savvy, as you can see. So, starting with That Summer by Sarah Dessen. This is a young adult fiction romance novel. It's about a teenage girl named Haven who must learn that change is the essential process of all existence in the course of one summer. Haven's parents divorce, her dad marries his pregnant girlfriend, her mom thinks about going on a month's long trip to Europe and then decides to sell their house, and Haven's sister Ashley is getting married. The rating is a 3.5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads, but I gave it a higher rating because it actually grew on me. Now, I'm not really a fan of straight-up romance novels, but I made a challenge for myself. Read at least two chapters of a romance novel every day during the course of this summer, and I at first didn't know how I felt about the change of reading style because I usually stick with fantasy or simple young adult fiction, but this change is actually really welcomed because that summer is fantastic. Oh my gosh. I can't believe that I didn't like this type of book before. I mean, I would be willing to read so many more books like that. And as you can see on my top young adult fiction romance shelf, there are a lot of books by Sarah Dessen and then more books by Susan Colasanti and then even more books by Abby Glines, who I have huge respect for. So anyway, another book that I've been reading recently is The Cabin by Natasha Preston. Now, this is a young adult fiction mystery novel, and it was actually a Wattpad novel before it became a paperback, which is so cool because I also have stories on my Wattpad page, but I do it anonymously, so in case I post something a little spicy, I don't have people looking at me like, oh my gosh, she thinks that. Like, it can get Fifty Shades of Grey, like, oh my god. But I'm not even going to give you the name of my page because I don't want you knowing. So anyway... Um, with the cabin, estranged friends Mackenzie, Aaron, Megan, Courtney, Kyle, and Josh go on a weekend camping trip to Josh's family cabin, and Josh's weird but gorgeous brother Blake joins them, and he hooks up with Mackenzie on the first night of meeting her, so I'm wondering, okay, is this girl, like, actually open, or does she feel like it's right? Like, I can't even tell. Like, that's just, like, oh my gosh. So anyway, um, in the morning, Mackenzie finds Courtney and Josh dead and bloody in the kitchen, so who killed them? So that's the whole point of the novel, to find out who killed them. And 95% of Google users liked this novel. I'm about halfway through the book, and it's not growing on me at all. Like, I love that summer better than the cabin, so that's, like, something a little awkward to begin with. But my mom and I decided to have an us day. So when we worked out together in the morning and went out for coffee, then we went to the bookstore. Uh, this was one of the books that she bought for me. So thank you so much, mom. I love you to death. And we actually spent the rest of the day reading, which was peaceful perfection. Okay, so another book that I have been reading is City of Lost Souls by Cassandra Clare. Oh my gosh, I love this. This is a young adult fiction, urban fantasy, supernatural novel, and after Lilith is killed and Jace is freed, Jace disappears along with Clary's older brother, Jonathan. Clary discovers that Lilith's magic has bound Jace and Jonathan together, so one cannot be killed without the other dying too. Clary alone feels lo fears losing the game, and if she loses, her life, along with Jace's, is forfeit. So what can she do? Uh, the book was rated a 4.3 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. I will give it a much higher rating because I am in love with Cassandra Clare's writing style. And I also promised not to watch the Mortal Instruments movie or the Shadowhunters TV show until I read all the books. And I have this one and City of Heavenly Fire to read before I can dive into the Mortal Instruments everything. And I am so excited to be doing that because I haven't shut up about it in since I really started reading the series and my brother and parents are getting very tired of me talking about Cassandra Clare this and Jason Clary that and all sorts of stuff. So that, that will be a relief to them and very funny for me 
Not that I actually think I'll stop talking about the book. And the last book that I've been reading recently is The Hazelwood by Melissa Albert. This is a young adult fiction, fantasy, fairy tale retelling. Um, I'm not actually sure which one it is yet, but Alice and her mother live on the road. But then when Alice's reclusive grandmother, who is also an author, uh, dies, she leaves them her manor, the Hazelwood, and Alice's mother goes missing. And then there's a letter saying, stay away from the Hazelwood. So guess who's going to ignore that letter? Of course, Alice. The uh, oh, uh, Common Sense Media rates the book a 5 out of 5 stars. I'm not yet halfway through the book, but I am totally sucked into it. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. And thinking on the Stay Away from the Hazelwood letter, I have to say that I would probably be reckless enough to ignore that suggestion. Um, I'm not known for being not reckless crazy or just all around daring, so... Um, Speaking on the whole recklessness thing, uh, when I was a little kid, like maybe eight or nine years old, my dad takes me camping and the rest of the family comes with us and then we're driving down this one road in the afternoon. I actually remember what I was wearing that day, jeans and a blue top. Um, and we see a branch in the road and so my dad's like, okay, the branch is moving. Wait a minute, that's not a branch. And then my dad realizes that it's a rattlesnake. And he grabs the camera, bolts out of the car, and starts taking pictures. Now, he's, like, really close to it. And I'm amazed that the snake didn't bite him. But when I start to get out of the car, I'm like, hey, Dad, I, wanted, I want to see what this is like. I mean, that's kind of one reckless thing that I've been known to do. And um, my mom said to me, Erin, you get back in this bleeping car or else you're grounded until you're 18. So I get back in the car, shut the door, roll up the window, and say, Mom, that's no fun. I want to be reckless like Dad. So um, I've had a few more experiences with snakes. Not all of them were poisonous. Some were. But anyway, that's just one reckless thing that I have been known to do. So right now I'm going to get back to reading because these books aren't going to read it themselves. I've had a lot of fun today, so if you like this video, subscribe to my booktube channel below to get more videos like this, and have a good day, my rogues!